Hotels and Catering by Virginia Evans, Jenny Dooley, and Veronica Garza. Copyright Express Publishing. All rights reserved. Book One, Unit One. Meet our staff. Exercise Five, Page Five. Employee of the Month, Tom Yarbrough, Front Desk Clerk. What do you do on a regular day at work? I work with the doorman, valet, and elevator operator to make guests feel welcome. Then I check in the guest. Finally, I ask the bellhop to take the guest's bags to the guest's room. Do you think that teamwork is important? Yes, teamwork is a big part of my job. I talk to the night auditor every morning. She shares important guest information with me. Sometimes guests have questions about the city, so I tell them to speak to the concierge. Other times there are problems with the rooms. The housekeepers and maintenance workers fix those problems. Exercises six and seven, page five. Mr. Huxley, what's your favourite thing about your job? Every day is a new experience. I meet new people and work with a great team. Oh, so your co-workers help you do your job? Yes, I work with the doorman and the front desk clerk every day. I see. Tell me, what's your goal as a bellhop? My goal is to make the guests happy. I think you're a great choice for employee of the month. Congratulations. Thank you. I'm very happy about it. Unit two, welcome, exercise five, page seven. New employee training manual. Welcoming our guests. Why do people from all over the world choose the Royal Point Hotel? Because of our friendly atmosphere. How can you make guests feel welcome? Here are some tips. Greet new guests with a friendly welcome. Also, be sure to introduce yourself. Begin your introduction with the phrase "Allow me to introduce myself." Address all guests as Sir or Ma'am. The title Mister or Ms. followed by the guest's last name is also appropriate. Is a guest having trouble carrying his or her luggage? Offer to take his or her bags. A guest may have additional baggage in his or her car trunk. Don't forget to ask. Exercises six and seven, page seven. Welcome to the Royal Point Hotel. Thank you. I'm glad to be here, and we're glad to have you. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Roland Hayes. I'm the doorman. It's nice to meet you, Mr. Hayes. It's nice to meet you too. May I take your bags? Sure. My luggage is in my car trunk. Okay. I'm happy to unload your luggage. In the meantime, why don't you check in at the front desk? All right. Thank you very much. Unit Three, Hotel Amenities, Exercise Five, Page Nine. Amenities. Welcome to the Royal Point Hotel. We offer more than just a place to sleep. Relax in the heated pool or work out in the fitness center. Want to check your email or surf the web? It's not a problem. Wi-Fi internet access is available throughout the hotel. Feeling hungry? Visit our hotel restaurant. It is open from 7 a.m. to 10 p.m.
or use the vending machines and ice machines when you want a snack or a cold drink. They are available any time on every floor. Need anything else? Ask the clerk at the front desk. He or she is always happy to help you. Exercises six and seven, page nine. Excuse me, can you direct me to the pool? Of course. First, take the elevator to the ground floor. That's what I thought. Then what? Go right as you leave the elevator. Do I pass the front desk? Yes, you do. And keep going down the hall. Turn right again at the ice machine. Oh, I think I took a wrong turn the last time. Just look for the fitness center. The swimming pool is not far from there. Unit four, family-friendly lodging. Exercise five, page eleven. <music> family-friendly lodging. Looking for a vacation that's fun for the entire family? Visit the Royal Point Hotel. Where family vacations are easy, our guest rooms are perfect for families. Order kid-friendly movies on pay-per-view, watch the newest hit movies on the TV in your room, and remember we provide cribs upon request. What about entertainment beyond your hotel room? Visit our hotel restaurant. It has a children's menu that satisfies picky eaters. Or rent a stroller from the front desk and explore the nearby attractions. Do mum and dad want a quiet evening together? Let us do the babysitting. With our professional childcare specialists and a fun playroom, you don't have to worry. <music> Exercises six and seven, page eleven. Good afternoon, Mr. Clark. How can I help you? My wife and I want to go to a show tonight, but we don't want to take our kids. Well, we offer free babysitting. How does that work? You just leave your children in the childcare office. It's on the second floor. Is there anything for the kids to do there? Yes, there's a playroom with a lot of toys. Good. The babysitting service sounds perfect. Unit five, valet service. Exercise five, page thirteen. Relax and leave the parking to us. After all, you're on holiday. The Royal Point Hotel is happy to offer all guests convenient valet parking. To use the service, follow these steps: park your car in front of the hotel. Be sure to take any valuables out of the car. Give your car keys to one of the parking attendants. Just look for the employees in the blue uniforms. Take the valet ticket that the parking attendant gives you. Know that your car is safe in our parking garage until you need it. To pick up your car, give the valet ticket to the parking attendant. Please pay at this time. Exercises six and seven, page thirteen. Excuse me, do you work here? Yes, ma'am. I'm a parking attendant. Perfect. I'd like to use the valet service. I can help you with that. May I have your car keys? Sure. Here you go. Do you need anything else? No, but please make sure to remove any valuables from your car. Of course. I have my purse and cell phone with me. Okay. Here's your valet ticket. You need that in order to pick up your car. Unit six, the guest room. 
Exercise 5, page 15. A home away from home. The Royal Point Hotel has the perfect room for you. At the Royal Point Hotel, we offer everything a modern traveller needs. Stay with us and you feel at home. Rooms and Suites The Royal Point Hotel offers 180 deluxe rooms and 20 luxury suites. Our deluxe rooms include one king or two double beds. Our luxury suites include a bedroom, a living room, a dining room and a kitchen. All of the rooms at the Royal Point Hotel include the following. TV, desk, mini bar, coffee maker, hair dryer, iron and ironing board. Exercises 6 and 7, page 15. Thank you for calling the Royal Point Hotel Reservations Department. My name is Sam. How may I help you? Hello, I'd like to book a room. We offer two room types, the deluxe room and a luxury suite. What's the difference between the deluxe room and a suite? For one, the suite is very large. In addition to a bedroom, it has a kitchen, living room and dining room. But is it more expensive? Yes, it is. It sounds nice. But I think a deluxe room is enough for me. Unit 7. Checking in. Exercise 5, page 17. <music> Guide to checking in and welcoming guests to the Royal Point Hotel. Step 1. Find an available room. For walk-in guests, ask the guest about the following information. Preferred room type, single, double, smoking, non-smoking, number of guests, length of stay. Use the information to look for a vacancy. For guests with reservations, ask the guests about the following information. Name or reservation number. Step 2. Room assignment and registration. Assign a room to the guest, then ask the guest to complete a registration form. Step 3. Damage deposit. Collect credit card information or cash for the damage deposit. Step 4. Issue room key. Give the guest the room key and wish him or her a nice stay at our hotel. Exercises 6 and 7, page 17. Welcome to the Royal Point Hotel. How may I help you today? Hi, I want to check in. Do you have a reservation? Yes, I do. OK, what name is the reservation under? Edward Green. All right, Mr Green. Your reservation is for a single non-smoking room and you're staying for two nights. Is that correct? Yes, that's right. Unit 8. Meet the restaurant staff. Exercise 5, page 19. The Post Meridian Restaurant. Now hiring. Are you friendly? Do you work well with other people? Then join the front of house team at the Post Meridian Restaurant. We are currently hiring wait staff. Servers are responsible for the following duties. Working with the host or hostess to help customers to their seats. Putting utensils and napkins on tables before customers arrive. Explaining the different dishes on the menu to customers. Taking food orders. Bringing orders to kitchen staff. Helping buses clear tables during busy shifts. Following directions from the head waiter. For more information, call Jim Paisley at 555-1907. Exercises 6 and 7, page 19. Hi, Rebecca. I'm Jim, the head waiter. Thanks for coming. My pleasure. 
The Post Meridian seems like a great place to work. It really is. So, you work at another restaurant right now? Yes. I'm a server at the Riley Cafe, but I need more shifts. Well, experience as a server is good. What are your responsibilities there? I take orders, deliver food, and set out napkins and utensils. I see. Sometimes we need our wait staff to help the hosts too. That's fine. I also have experience as a hostess. Unit 9 Taking a Reservation. Exercise 5, page 21. The Post Meridian Restaurant, Friday, April 2nd. OK, first up, time 6 o'clock, party size 4, contact person Jason Ginsberg, phone number 3831292, notes, has child needs booster seat. Number 2, time 6 o'clock, party size 2, contact person Gina Dearborn, phone number 3160442, Notes requested alfresco seating. OK, next up, 6.15, uh, the party size is 2. The person you need to contact is Jim McDonnell, and his number is 3800124. Uh, notes on him celebrating birthday, provide free dessert. Uh, coming up after that at 6.15 again, it's a party size of 3. Uh, contact person is Kurt Channing. You can find him on 3819642. So he may have one extra guest, so seat him at a table for four. So after that at 6.30 we have an opening, and then also at 6.30 we've got a party of ten for Jean Dorton. You can contact her on 316-8291. What we want to do is seat her in party room number two if possible. Reminders. Always check for open tables before booking. Update the log after cancellations. Set out high chairs before guests arrive, when applicable. Review the details of the reservation before hanging up. Exercises 6 and 7, page 21. Thank you for calling the Post Meridian restaurant. This is Natalie. How can I help you? Hi. I'd like to reserve a table for tonight. Of course. May I have your name, sir? It's Mark Billings. OK, Mr Billings. I don't have any openings until 8 o'clock. Is that OK? Yes, that works. Great. How many people are in your party? Three. That's two adults and one toddler. Do you provide high chairs? Yes, sir. We can arrange that. Unit 10. Breakfast service. Exercise 5, page 23. The Post Meridian Restaurant at the Royal Point Hotel. Breakfast voucher. $10 for brunch upgrade. Number 247895. Continental breakfast. Includes a pastry, toast or bagels. Free refills on beverages, including coffee, juice or tea. Buffet breakfast. A la carte menu. $25 limit. Choose from pancakes... Eggs, over easy, scrambled or fried. See menu for more options. Hours, 7.30 a.m. to 11.30 a.m. Name, Wes Doherty. Room number 315. Date, 3rd of June. Issued by Carol Baker, front desk associate. Please give this coupon to the employee at the restaurant. No cash value. Excludes gratuities. Exercises 6 and 7, page 23. Good morning, and welcome to the Post Meridian Restaurant. Good morning. I have a breakfast voucher. Here you go. Thank you, Mr Doherty. I see there's a buffet. Is that where I get my food? Actually, you have the a la carte option. What does that mean? It means you choose exactly what you want from the menu. Great. May I look at the menu? Certainly. A server will be here to take your order shortly. Unit 11. At the bar. 
Exercise five, page twenty-five. Happy hour at the Post Meridian. Daily, five p.m. to seven p.m. Imported and domestic beers on tap are half price. Finish two pitchers of beer, get the third free. House wines by the glass are five dollars. Get half off when you order any bottle of red wine or white wine on our wine list. All well drinks and cocktails are four dollars. Happy hour pricing does not apply to our top shelf liquors. Please note we don't serve minors, and our bartenders ask for ID. Exercises six and seven, page twenty-five. Good evening. What can I get you to drink? I'm not sure if I feel like a beer or a glass of wine. Can I see the wine list? Sure. We have red wine and white wine by the glass. I think I'll have a glass of the house red. Good choice. Can I see some ID? Sure. Here you go. Thank you. Enjoy your wine. Cheers. Unit twelve. Meet the kitchen staff. Exercise five, page twenty-seven. Behind the scenes by Julie Redkin. Customers know that the service at the Post Meridian is great, but few people know what happens behind the scenes. Every morning, the head chef and the sous chef choose the day's specials. Then they tell the butcher which meats they need, and they also give directions to prep cooks. At six o'clock, the restaurant opens. Line cooks listen to the caller to find out what foods to cook. On busy nights, a swing cook helps the line cooks at different food stations. Finally, the pastry chef prepares desserts. Everyone in the kitchen works together to make sure that customers have a great meal. Exercises six and seven, page twenty-seven. How long until we open the restaurant? It's a quarter to six, so we have fifteen minutes before opening. Is all the prep work done? Yes, ma'am. What station are you working tonight? I'm in charge of the fish station. Excellent. Our special for tonight is salmon. So I'll probably need some help. Is there a swing cook available tonight? Yes, and he's great with fish. Unit thirteen, utensils. Exercise five, page twenty-nine. A chef's tools. What are some tools that no chef can live without? No kitchen is complete without a cutting board, grater, vegetable peeler, and can opener. Chefs use these items before they start cooking, and even small kitchens have spoons and whisks. These are for mixing food. After food is done, chefs use spatulas or ladles to serve food. What is a chef's most important tool? No chef enters a kitchen without a knife roll. This contains all of the knives a chef needs during a restaurant service. The most important knife in that set is a chef's knife. Many cooks like using one of these knives because it can perform a number of tasks. Exercises six and seven, page twenty-nine. Hi, Kevin. I need your help. What's up, Kathy? I need a spatula, but I think we're out of clean ones. Yes, there's a pile of them at the sink. Do you need me to wash a few for you? Yes, please. And can you wash the grater for me as well? Sure, I'll do that right away. Thanks a lot. Please leave the clean utensils at my station. No problem. Unit fourteen, food service equipment, exercise five, page thirty-one. Com Kitchen Industries. The finest food service equipment in the world. June the thirteenth, John Gibson, Executive Chef, Post Meridian Restaurant. Dear Mr. Gibson, thank you for your recent order. Based on your previous orders, 
I have put together a list of new products that you may enjoy. Fire it up gas range, 45 centimeter griddle, two open burners, chasey oven, temperature range, 65 degrees Celsius to 260 degrees Celsius, automatic timer, mix a lot mixer, three speeds, Milton countertop deep fryer, two fry baskets, bake it oven rack, fits 12 sheet pans, Molia stock pot, stainless steel. Visit our website for other great deals. To order these products, please call one of our sales representatives today. Sincerely, Gillian Watkins, Director of Sales, Com Kitchen Industries. <laughs> Exercises 6 and 7, page 31. Com Kitchen Industries, this is Gillian Watkins. Hello, Miss Watkins. This is John Gibson from the Post Meridian Restaurant. Good afternoon, Mr Gibson. How can I help you? I received a letter from your company yesterday. Are you interested in placing an order for any of those products? Yes, I'd like to order the Mix-A-Lot Mixer. Excellent choice. I just need a credit card number to place the order. Oh, I don't have my card. I'll find it and call again. Unit 15. Food Preparation. Exercise 5, page 33. June 17th. Breakfast service. Food prep list. Ingredients. Five dozen eggs, one kilogram onions, one kilogram spinach, one kilogram tomatoes, one kilogram red peppers, 400 grams bacon, 400 grams cheese, 500 grams mushrooms, 50 grams garlic. Menu item, omelette bar. 1. Peel and mince the onions. 2. Wash and chop the spinach. 3. Julienne the tomatoes. 4. Dice the red peppers. 5. Grate the cheese. 6. Slice the mushrooms. Notes. Place all of the prepared items in separate bowls and seal with plastic wrap. Then place all of them on cart number 3 and store in the cooler. Exercises 6 and 7, page 33. Jack, can you please prep the salads on tonight's menu? Sure. What ingredients do I need? Lettuce, tomatoes and cucumbers. It's all on the prep list. OK. Do you want me to peel the cucumbers? Yes. But first, wash all of the ingredients. Will do. Am I supposed to slice or julienne the tomatoes? According to the prep list, you need to slice them. That's what I thought. I'll do that right away. Glossary A la carte Additional Address Al fresco Allow someone Assign Atmosphere Automatic timer Babysit. Bagel. Baggage. Bartender. Behind the scenes. Bellhop. Book. Booster seat. Brunch. Busser. Butcher. Caller. Can opener. Cancellation. Car key. Car trunk. Check email. Check in. Chef's knife. Childcare specialist. Children's menu. Chop. Clear a table. 
Cocktail. Coffee maker. Continental breakfast. Convenient. Cooler. Countertop. Coupons. Crib. Cutting board. Damage deposit. Deep fryer. Deluxe. Desk. Dice. Dining room. Dish. Domestic beer. Doorman. Double. Eggs over easy. Elevator operator. Feel at home. Fitness center. Fried eggs. Front desk clerk. Front of house. Fry basket. Gas range. Great. Greater. Griddle. Hair dryer. Happy hour. Head chef. Head waiter. Heated pool. High chair. Host. Hostess. Hotel restaurant. House wine. Housekeeper. Ice machine. ID. Imported beer. Ingredient. Introduce yourself. Iron. Ironing board. Julienne. Kid friendly. Knife roll. Ladle. Line cook. Living room. Log. Luggage. Luxury. Maintenance worker. Mince. Mini bar. Mixer. Napkin. Night auditor. Non-smoking. On tap. Open burner. Opening. Oven. Oven rack. Pancakes. Park. Parking attendant. Parking garage. Party. Party room. Pastry. Pastry chef. Pay per view. Peel. Pick up. Picky. Pitcher. Plastic wrap. Playroom. Prep cook. Prep list. Red wine. Refill. Registration form. Relax. Reservation. Reservation number. Room key. Safe. Scrambled eggs. Server. Sheet pan. Shift. Shred. Single. Slice. Smoking. Sous chef. Spatula. Special. Spoon. Stainless steel. Station. Stockpot. 
stroller, sweet, surf the web, swing cook, table for number, take one's bags, teamwork, title, toast, top shelf. Uniform. Upon request. Utensil. Vacancy. Valet. Valet parking. Valet ticket. Valuables. Vegetable peeler. Vending machine. Voucher. Wait, staff. Walk in. Welcome. Well, drink. Whisk. White wine. Book two, unit one. Making a room reservation. Exercise five, page five. Reservations. Welcome to the Royal Point Hotel's online reservation system. This website makes reserving the perfect room quick and easy. Reservation basics: select your dates, check in, check out, number of rooms, number of guests, adults, children. Reservation details. The Royal Point Hotel offers a variety of different rooms. Select your preferences: garden view, ocean view, deluxe suite includes kitchenette, smoking, non-smoking. Please note that during the high season, room preferences will be subject to availability. Now that you've chosen your room, please tell us what kind of bed you prefer. Two double beds, king-sized. Based on the selections you have made, we estimate the room rate. If you are eligible for discounts or special offers, notify the front desk upon arrival. Lower rates may be available during the off-season. Calculated rack rate. Dollars per night. Total, dollars. Exercises six and seven, page five. Good afternoon. You've reached the Royal Point Hotel. How may I help you? Hi, I'd like to make a reservation for the month of July. All right. How many guests will be staying in the room? I'll be travelling with my husband and three children. Excellent. How many beds will you need? Well, at least two. Okay. There are double rooms with a garden view available, or if you want more space, you can take a deluxe suite. That sounds good, but I'll stick with the double room. Also, I want to use a coupon for a discount. Very well. We'll charge you the rack rate right now. When will I get the discount? You'll receive the discount when you check in. Just remember to give your coupon to the clerk at the desk. Unit two, loyalty programs, exercise five, page seven. Loyalty program. The Royal Point Hotel values its repeat customers. To show our appreciation, we present the exclusive Royal Point Hotel loyalty program. Loyalty benefits make your stay at any Royal Point Hotel better. 
As a loyalty member, you gain points each time you enjoy a night in one of our hotels. And when you travel with partner airlines, your points add up. The more points you earn, the greater your rewards. Loyalty members enjoy many benefits. Silver level members love our turndown service. Double your points and become a gold member. You add the benefit of guaranteed room availability and free room service. The highest membership level gives you access to even more benefits. Platinum members also earn a complimentary stay plus early check-in. As a member of our loyalty program, you know you are our most important customer. Enroll today. Unit three: Confirming a reservation. Exercise five, page nine. From A. Logan at Royal Point Hotels dot com to J. Wilson at Direct Email dot com. Subject: Reservation confirmation. Dear Mr. Wilson, I am writing in reference to your inquiry about guest room availabilities at the Royal Point Hotel. I am pleased to say that we were able to reserve a room for you for the dates you requested. Below, please find the information you will need in order to check in. Confirmation number G one o two three two. Date of arrival March twenty third. Date of departure March twenty fifth. The base rate is ninety nine dollars per night. However, you made a special request for an upgrade to a room that is adjacent to the outdoor swimming pool. Thus, the cost will be one hundred and nine dollars per night. The room will be ready for occupancy at two p.m. However, if you need to occupy the room before that, please contact the front desk to arrange for an early check-in. Please review the information carefully. If any of the information is incorrect. Please respond to this email or call me at one eight hundred five 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 nine zero zero zero. We are looking forward to your stay with us. Respectfully, Mrs. Anne Logan, Booking Agent, Royal Point Hotel. Exercises six and seven, page nine. Thank you for calling the Royal Point Hotel Reservations Department. This is Anne Logan speaking. Hello, Miss Logan. This is Mark Wilson. Good morning, Mr. Wilson. How can I assist you? I received the reservation confirmation this morning. Thank you. Wonderful. Was all of the information correct? Actually, I did find one problem.、Uh, what was it? The checkout date is not right. I can fix the reservation for you right now. What date are you departing? On March twenty-sixth. Okay, Mr. Wilson. I've made that change to the departure date. Will you send me a new confirmation? Yes, sir. I'll email it to you right now. Unit four, housekeeping, exercise five, page eleven. Cleaning guest rooms. At the beginning of each shift, meet with your team leader to get your room assignment list. This list includes information about room assignments. Stayovers and checkouts, special requests such as towels and trash service, VIP arrivals or early arrivals. Always start with checkout rooms. These rooms must be cleaned by 3 p.m. A full cleaning includes cleaning the toilet, tub, and sink, changing the towels and sheets, making the bed, vacuuming the carpet. Emptying trash bins, disinfecting all counters and surfaces, replacing toiletries. Stayover rooms typically involve the following tasks: changing the towels, making the beds. 
Always knock three times and announce your arrival before entering a room. Remember, do not enter a room that has a do not disturb sign. Alert your supervisor if a guest has not removed the DND by the end of your shift. Exercises 6 and 7, page 11. Good afternoon, Kevin. How are you? I'm doing well, thanks. Are you almost done for the day? Yes, I just finished the last day over on my list. Great. Were you very busy today? Yes, I had seven checkouts. Wow. That's more than usual, isn't it? Yes, but we're always busy on the weekends. Before I forget, I want to mention something. Sure, what is it? The guests in 245 have had a DND up all morning. What should I do? Since your shift is about over, don't worry about it. The guests may request cleaning service later, but I'll take care of it. Okay, I guess that I'm done then. I'll see you tomorrow. Unit 5 Concierge. Exercise 5, page 13. Dear guest, my name is Richard and I am the chief concierge at the Royal Point Hotel. On behalf of the concierge department, I would like to extend my warmest welcome. Our concierges are here to help you explore the local attractions. Don't hesitate to approach any of the members of my multilingual staff with any questions. You can always find a concierge on duty at the concierge's podium in the lobby. We have insider information on many local businesses. For example, we can point you towards the trendy shopping district and recommend our favorite hotspots. Do you like art? We can give you directions to the nearest museum and tell you about current exhibitions. Sports fans can learn about upcoming football matches at the local arena. No matter what type of entertainment you seek, our concierges can inform you about them. We hope that you have a pleasant stay. Sincerely, Richard Zimmerman. Exercises 6 and 7, page 13. Good evening, ma'am. How may I be of assistance? Would you be able to get two tickets to the theatre tonight? I can certainly try. What type of show are you interested in? A musical would be perfect. I've always wanted to see Song of My Heart. I can get tickets to tonight's show of Song of My Heart. But I may only be able to get balcony seats. I'd really prefer something closer. I'm afraid it's too late to get tickets in the other sections. What if I pay extra? Well, I can speak to my contact at the theatre and see if there's anything else available. I would really appreciate that. I'll call your room within the next hour with information about the show. What's your room number? I'm in 204. Thank you, ma'am. I hope that I can assist you. Unit 6 Airport Transfers Exercise 5, page 15 Airport Transportation Airport Shuttle We offer 24 hour on call shuttle service to and from the airport. When you arrive at the airport, just call us. One of our drivers will pick you up and bring you straight to the hotel. You can also use the airport shuttle to travel to the airport. Our shuttle departs at your convenience and will take you directly to the check in counter. This service is complimentary, although drivers appreciate tips. Public transportation City bus route number 231 runs to and from the airport every half hour. There is a bus stop on Kent Street on the east side of the hotel. For more details about the bus schedule or fare, ask the front desk. Taxis. Taxis are available any time, night or day, and provide private transportation to and from the airport. Hail a cab from the airport yourself or ask the front desk to arrange for a taxi pickup for you. Exercises 6 and 7, page 15. Good evening, ma'am. How may I help you? Hello. I need to find a way to go to the airport tomorrow morning. Well, there are a number of options available. I understand that there's a bus that goes to the airport from here. That's right. 
The bus stop is on Kent Street. How often does it depart? If I remember correctly, it runs every half hour from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. Mm, that's no good. My plane leaves at seven. You might be interested in our airport shuttle service. It leaves whenever you want, and takes you straight to the check-in counter at the airport. How much does it cost? It's free, though tips are always welcomed. I'd like to schedule the service for tomorrow morning at 5 a.m. Certainly, the driver will be waiting for you. Unit seven, evacuation, exercise five, page seventeen. Emergency evacuation plan. Be prepared. As a guest at the Royal Point Hotel, it is important to know what to do in case of an emergency. Please take a moment to read this poster carefully. In case of fire, take these precautions: remain calm, pull the fire alarm, and leave the area immediately. Automatic sprinklers protect your room from fire. Evacuate the building through the nearest exit. Always take the stairs. Do not take the elevators. Do not return to your room. In case of an earthquake, stand under an arch. You can also seek protection under heavy furniture, like a desk. Stay away from windows. Watch out for tall shelves. Items may fall from them and injure you. During any emergency. Always pay close attention to the announcements from the loudspeakers. The Royal Point Hotel has an intercom system in place. We use this to communicate with our guests and share important safety information. Exercises six and seven, page seventeen. What's going on? What's that noise? That's a fire alarm, sir. There's a small fire in the hotel. Fire? Oh my goodness! Where is it? It's in a guest room on the third floor. The third floor? That's near my room. All of my things will burn. Sir, it's very important that you stay calm. But what about my belongings? There's a sprinkler system. It will protect your items if the fire reaches your room. What am I supposed to do now? For now, we have to evacuate the building. I don't understand. I thought you said it was just a small fire. That's correct, but we're evacuating the building as a precaution. I see. I guess I need to find the nearest exit then. That's right. Just take the stairs down to the ground level. You'll see the exit at the bottom of the stairs. Unit eight, checking out. Exercise five, page nineteen. <laughs> Thank you for staying at the Royal Point Hotel. Below is a summary of charges for your stay. Guest: Samson, Oscar, three five zero six Utrecht Road, Dallas, Texas nine eight one hundred USA. Dates of stay: January zero six to January zero eight. Guest number: one four zero two one. Room number three four one. Date, description, charges. One o six. Room charge, ninety dollars. One o six. Room service, twenty five dollars. One o six. Dining service charge, five dollars. One o seven. Room charge. Ninety dollars. One o seven. Long distance calls. Ten minutes at eighty cents per minute. Eight dollars. Amount due at checkout. Two hundred and eighteen dollars. Please settle the account by paying the total balance at the front desk at checkout. Cash, credit card, or personal check payments accepted. To avoid additional charges. Please pay the balance and return the room keys by noon. Keep this copy of the bill for your records. Direct any questions to the front desk clerk. 
We hope you enjoyed your stay. Come back and see us again soon. Exercises six and seven, page nineteen. Good morning, Mr. Sampson. How may I help you? Hello. I need to check out. Okay. Did you already receive a copy of the bill? Yes, and I have a question about one of the charges. What's your question? There's a dining service charge for five dollars. What's that for? It's a room service fee. That's charged in addition to the cost of your food. I see. In that case, I'm ready to pay. How will you be paying? Just put it on my Master Charge card. Okay, that's taken care of. Thank you for choosing the Royal Point Hotel. Thank you. Oh, and here's my room key. Unit nine: Greeting and seating guests. Exercise five, page twenty-one. Food service world, June. Managing customer flow. Managing customer flow in restaurants ensures that customers get the most out of their dining experience. It also allows restaurants to turn tables faster, which means a greater profit. To improve customer flow at your restaurant, make sure to hire wisely. Your restaurant's host or hostess is the first person patrons see. He or she is responsible for greeting guests. Learning their seating preferences, table or booth, for example, and seating them. The host or hostess also advises customers of wait times. When hiring, choose someone who is polite and makes a good impression. You should also hire someone who can handle problems at the front of the restaurant, for example, long wait times for straight patrons. In this case, the host or hostess. May offer the customer a comp appetizer or a drink on the house. The host or hostess should also be familiar with paging systems. These systems use pages which buzz or light up when the patron's table is ready. Exercises six and seven, page twenty-one. Good evening, sir. Welcome to the Post Meridian Restaurant. Do you have a reservation? Yes, it's under Jackson. Here it is, Mr. Jackson. Party of four. Actually, I'm expecting two more people. Is it possible to get a table for six? Yes, but I'm afraid there would be a short wait. How long will the wait be? About ten minutes. Is that okay? Yes, that's fine. And I just want to remind you that we can't seat your party until everyone is here. That's okay. I'm sure my companions will be here on time. Perfect. Here's a pager. It'll buzz when your table is ready. Thank you for your help. Unit ten. Explaining the menu. Exercise five, page twenty-three. The Post Meridian Restaurant. Lunch menu. Appetizers: fried chicken strips served with a honey mustard dipping sauce, baked potato skins served with any three of the following: cheese, bacon, onions, beans, lettuce, shrimp platter with cocktail sauce serves two. House salad with our signature dressing, low-fat and low-calorie option. Entrees. All entrees are cooked to order. Entrees come with your choice of soup or salad. Broiled salmon with rice and steamed broccoli, low-fat and low-calorie option. Meridian burger topped with melted cheese and a spicy sauce, with a side of our award-winning fries. Steak grilled to perfection, served with boiled potatoes and peas. Pork chops simmered in a sweet and sour sauce with rice. Half a roasted chicken seasoned with herbs with a side of our salty potato chips. Desserts: chocolate brownie with caramel sauce, steaming hot apple pie a la mode, raspberry sorbet with fresh berries, low-fat option.
Exercises six and seven, page twenty-three. Hi, my name's Brittany, and I'll be your server today. Hi, I have a question about the menu. What is it? I see you have potato skins. How are those prepared? The potato skins are baked, sir. I see. And are they very spicy? No, but they are salty. Oh, I don't like salty food. I'd rather have something sweet. Then you might like the fried chicken strips. Are those sweet? Well, the chicken isn't sweet, but the dipping sauce that comes with it is. That sounds fantastic. Thanks. Unit Eleven, taking an order, Exercise Five, Page Twenty-Five. <laughs> Restaurant owner digest, August. Write it down. Take the guesswork out of taking orders. Servers who can remember everything are six top orders are sure to impress customers. How can servers at your restaurant accomplish this? By using a notepad and the pivot point system. The pivot point system works by assigning each seat at a table a number. Then the server writes the order information next to the right number. Never again will your servers have to ask which guest ordered his steak rare, medium rare, or well done. All of the information about the order is in the notes. Another way your servers can impress customers is by double checking the order. Before the server leaves the table, he or she should repeat the entire order. Including any special requests like substitutions, this helps the server catch mistakes before it's too late. It also gives the customer an opportunity to change his or her mind. Exercises six and seven, page twenty-five. Good evening. My name is Shirley, and I'll be your server tonight. Can I get you started with an appetizer? Yes, I'd like to try the stuffed mushrooms. Perfect. I'll be back with those in just a few moments. Actually, I'm ready to order my entree as well. Okay. What will you have? I'd like the steak, please. How would you like that cooked? Rare, medium rare, or well done? Medium is fine. Medium rare. Okay. So you're starting with the stuffed mushrooms, and then you'll move on to a medium rare steak. Actually, I think I'd like to have the shrimp cocktail instead of the stuffed mushrooms. Not a problem. Those will be ready in a few moments. Thanks very much. Unit Twelve, Room Service, Exercise Five, Page Twenty-Seven. In-room dining menu, breakfast. Seven dollars, fruit and berries, French toast, pancakes with syrup. Lunch, twelve dollars, burger, chicken sandwich, house salad. Dinner, fifteen dollars, crab cakes, New York steak, vegetable pasta. For your convenience, the Royal Point Hotel offers twenty-four hour room service. To place an order, dial O on the hotel room phone and ask for room service. A room service attendant will take your order. Please note that delivery times depend on the kitchen load. Upon delivery, room service attendants provide plates and cutlery. When you sign for the food, please note that our service charge includes a tip. However, guests are welcome to give an additional tip. For excellent service. When you finish your meal, put the tray on the cart outside the door for collection. A late-night delivery fee will apply for orders placed after midnight. Exercises six and seven, page twenty-seven. Good evening, ma'am. I have your room service order. May I come in? Yes, of course. Where would you like me to put the tray? There's space on the nightstand. Okay. Here's your cutlery and napkin. Is there anything else I can do for you? 
No, everything is fine, thanks. Very well. Could you please sign the receipt? Sure. Um, I see there's an extra fee on here. What's that about? After midnight, the hotel adds a late night fee to all deliveries.、Mm, that makes sense. One more thing. What do I do with the tray after I finish eating? Just place it on the cart outside your door. Someone will remove it for you. Great. Have a good night. Unit 13 Banquets. Exercise 5, page 29. The Post Meridian Restaurant. Employer. The Post Meridian Restaurant at the Royal Point Hotel. Job title. Banquet server. Purpose. The banquet server will serve all food and drink at hotel functions. Reports to Banquet Manager, Banquet Captain, Maitre D. Primary duties. Banquet servers for the Royal Point Hotel have many duties. These duties include attending pre meal meetings with other banquet staff members, serving guests during hotel events, and making sure they are comfortable, completing all assigned side work, knowing what the liquor liability laws are and following them, reporting damaged equipment to the banquet manager. Required tools. The banquet server will use several tools to complete his or her duties. These tools include toasters, microwaves, and coffee makers or urns, beverage machines, silverware, dishware, and glassware, bus trays, and Queen Mary carts. Qualifications. Banquet servers must be able to lift at least fifty pounds. Previous experience in food service is preferable. Exercises six and seven, page twenty-nine. Good morning. I'm here about the banquet server position. Okay, you'll have to fill out an application. No problem. I do have one question though. Sure. What is it? Well, the website says experience is preferred. Does that mean experience as a banquet server? No, not necessarily. Oh, good. I've never worked in banquets. Basically, we're looking for people who have worked in food service before. Food service. Like as a server at a restaurant. Exactly. Do you have any experience waiting tables? Actually, yes. That's helpful. Make sure to mention that on your job application. Thanks. I will. Unit fourteen. Food storage. Exercise five. Page thirty-one. Keep it fresh. The basics of proper food storage. Proper storage is important to the preservation of food. Good storage prevents dangerous food spoilage. Read the following food safety rules for the fridge, pantry, and walk-in freezer. Fridge. Set the temperature between zero and five degrees Celsius. Cover and label food properly. From top to bottom, organize food on the fridge shelves in the following order: cooked and ready-to-eat foods, fresh fruit and vegetables, seafood and eggs, beef and pork products, poultry products. Pantry. Use the pantry to store dry goods such as bread, pasta, and canned goods. Keep the pantry clean and dry to avoid attracting insects, and remember to use the first in, first out system. That means that you always use the oldest food first. That way, you use all food before the expiration date. Walk-in freezer. 
Store different frozen goods separately. Stock clean ice bags for drinks served on ice. Label and date all food. Exercises six and seven, page thirty-one. Chef, there's a truck outside of the kitchen. That must be the food shipment. Do you want me to unload the boxes? No, someone else will unload them, but you can help put food away. I'd be happy to help. This is a shipment of dry goods, mostly pasta and canned food. All of that goes in the pantry, right? That's right. When you start, can you do me a favor? Sure. What is it? Make sure to move up the older items to the front of the shelf, and put the new items in the back. No problem. I used the first in, first out system at my old job too. Good. That helps us use the food before it goes bad. Unit fifteen, ordering food supplies, exercise five, page thirty-three. <laughs> The Post Meridian Restaurant, inventory list, item steak, quantity twenty-five kilograms, par level thirty kilograms, item chicken, quantity thirty kilograms, par level thirty kilograms, item potatoes, quantity fifteen kilograms, par level twenty kilograms, item rice, quantity. Twenty kilograms. Par level: twenty kilograms. Notes. Hello, John. The maitre D tells me you'll be ordering this week's food supply. Here are some pointers to help you. First, you need to determine how much food to order. I've already taken inventory, but make sure to check the storeroom to verify the quantities. Then use the par level to figure out what items we're running low on or are out of. These items need to be reordered. Next, contact one of our vendors. I've already checked the references for these vendors and asked about their packing dates. So any distributor you choose should give you quality service and products. Finally, try to obtain the best deal possible from the vendor. Be sure to negotiate product standards and agree upon a delivery schedule. Also, make sure to negotiate product prices to fit within our food budget. Jason Arnold, Executive Chef, WK One Five Eight FK. Seven point three seven. Exercises six and seven, page thirty-three. Thank you for calling Seaside Distribution. This is Beth. Hi, Beth. This is Jason Arnold from the Post Meridian Restaurant. Oh, hi, Jason. How can I help you? I need to order some steak. No problem. How much do you need? Well, we're about five kilograms under par. Five kilos of steak, then. And how are you set for shrimp? We have plenty of shrimp. Why do you ask? We're offering a deal on shrimp right now. Order ten kilograms or more and get it at half price. That's a good deal. I'll take twenty kilos of shrimp. I can use it in a steak and shrimp special at the restaurant. Okay. Now, what delivery date would work best for you? We can deliver the items to your restaurant on March third or March thirteenth. March third would be great. Thank you. <laughs>